gang, gang, gang. Hey, yeah, gang, gang. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yes I can, 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 yes I can. Ooh yeah, all dog pull up in a white van. Yeah, hey, slide dog, you know he a hype man. Yes I can, 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 yes I can. Can't see it often as he run past. Coach Matt been serving up the good fast. Check out his hand as I walk in the class. Turning my horn when I'm throwing my pass. Start up my warm up because I'm succeed. I get the thing done and I do the math D. Grabbing these points and I'm making it right. I'm saying hello, I'm catching these flights. If nobody's happy, the class will be happy. And nobody making a frown. Okay, class, one more time. Kiss the colonel and raise your hand if you are sitting down. Yeah, just give me 20 on three. Come on, let's see who the best class is going to be. Welcome, youngsters. To the first ever KYC News Channel 17 on your TV dial. Hey, I trust that you and your family are healthy and happy and staying sane during this crazy time. Alrighty, so hey, our goal every week, the broadcast will come out on Monday, uh, is to bring you some positive news, make you smile and teach the algebra lesson of the week. Your lesson will be due, your home fund will be due on Friday of that week. But again, if you have uh, problems or getting online or whatever it is, please let me know and it's very flexible. But um, every Monday I'm gonna give you a link. It's already in Google Classroom and it's gonna, gonna be either to Khan Academy or to YouTube or to something else that will e explain the lesson that I'm going to explain maybe even more, maybe different detail, maybe a different voice to help you understand it. Hopefully this info will be enough for you to be able to do your assignment. However, if you're confused, like some people are apt to be in a college algebra class or algebra two class, you'll be able to come to my office hours, which will be on Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to one. And that link is going to be in Google Classroom. It should be in there already. Some of you have already joined me last week. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, join us Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to 1. Uh, and if it gets too complicated with both classes on Tuesday and Thursday, then we're going to split the classes. Say, for example, Algebra 2 will be on Tuesday and College Algebra will be on Thursday. So we'll, we'll deal with that when time comes. But uh, again, just to recap, if you're confused after today's lesson, I'll be available Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to 1. Uh, for a Google Meet. If anybody wants to join us, uh, if, you bring, if you bring me a frap, uh, good things will happen and uh, perhaps some free toilet paper or something like that. So have, join and have some fun. Hey, you guys still with me? Yes. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Alrighty then. Hey, in addition to the algebra news of the day, we will provide weather, sports, and feel good stories, and perhaps even a few guest speakers. Now, not many speakers at my house, but I do have my three kids, my dog, two cats, and a guinea pig that will probably join us sometime in the near future. And, of course, the quote of the day, and number five question for those of you who like outside the box thinking, and many surprises. Now, also, in addition to all that, if you know of a classmate or a friend who has a birthday, please privately email me so we can wish them a happy birthday. Fine. Welcome back. Hey, um, we just want to thank uh, our sponsors for this KYC news telecast. Uh, one of them, of course, is uh, a, a favorite of mine, Starbucks. And the second one is a big favorite of every, everybody who's been in my classroom, and that's Sassy Flakes, sponsored by Kellogg's because they're great. Now, if you want to know where to find these two items, they can be found at any grocery store, of course, Costco and aisle 317 where the toilet paper used to be. What? <laughs> Thank you. Now let's get started with our, with our KIYC news. First of all, quote of the day, quote, only in the darkness can you see the stars, unquote. Again, only in the darkness can you see the stars. Any guess who said it? Foster. Martin Luther King Jr. Nice job, Foster. Anyone want to translate that? I'll let you guys think about that. Hey, second of all, let's get a weather update from a red report. Let's take it outside. Thanks for all that news. 
Welcome to today's weather forecast. It is currently raining and there's a 99.9% .9 of uh, algebra thunderstorms coming up. So keep an eye out for that. Now I'll send it back to the desk. Thank you for that fantastic weather report today. Now let's go over to the sports desk and see what's happening in the world of sports. Thank you, desk. Hey, in the sports world today, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's not much going on. However, I would like to thank and congratulate the San Diego Padres. After two weeks, they have yet to lose a game. So congratulations to the undefeated San Diego Padres. Back to you at the desk. Yeah. All right, thank you for that great sports report. Congratulations to those Padres. Hey, uh, now, the reason we're here, people, uh, the most important news at all this week will be the algebra news. Let's take it to the algebra desk and find out what's happening. All righty. Thank you, desk. Now for our most important part of the KYIC news is the algebra world and what is happening. I got to tell you, we have a lot going on. Uh, but fortunately for you, Algebra 2 Yixters, uh, this should be a relatively simple lesson this week. And we should be able to fly through this with, with ease. Let's get started and see how it goes. Our next module is module 15. By the way, I should tell you that before the pandemic, we were finishing up module 13. We will get back to that in the near future. But because we, don't do not, we do not know how to evaluate or test you yet, we are not there. So uh, we'll go back to module 13. We're going to go into uh, module 15 right now, which is on logarithms. So sit back and enjoy. All righty. Module 15, logarithmic functions. A log is simply a way to write exponents. So if I, if I write down exponents is the same as a log. Feel free to pause this any time to write these down a little bit slower. So if I wanna put something in exponential form, for example, four squared is equal to 16. If I wanna put that in log form, it would look like this, log, my base is four, my answer is 16, and my exponent is two. So you read that as log base four of 16 is equal to two. Congratulations. You learned your first lesson on logs. Let's give you another one real quick to see if we can do it. What if I have five to the third power is equal to anyone, anyone? Meg, what do you think? Where'd it go, Meg? Five to the third is 125. If I want to write that in log form, it's going to be log. My base is five. My answer is 125. And my exponent is three. So log base five of 125 is equal to three. Let's go a little bit more difficult. Are you still with me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, 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 yes. That was easy. All right, here we go. What if I go two to the negative three power is equal to what? <clears throat> Anyone? Kylie, what do you have? Yes. Where'd it go, Kylie? Two to negative three power is one over. Eight. Remember, negative exponent, you flip it over, do not flip it off. To write that in log form, we'd go log base two of my answer, which is one eighth, equals my exponent, which is negative three. Congratulations, people. That is our first lesson in log functions. Thank you, people. I appreciate your positivity. 
Let's move on to more challenging examples though. What if I have six to the negative two power? What do you think that equals? Again, negative exponent, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm not gonna flip it off. So six squared is 36, so it must be one over 36. Let's put that in log form. Log base six of my answer, which is one over 36, equals my exponent, which is negative two. What do you think? <laughs> you slide dogs. Okay, let's do one a little bit more challenging. What if I have 16 to the one half power? Do we know what the one half power means? It's the same as the square root of 16. So what's the square root of 16? It is four. So let's put that in log form log base 16 of my answer, which is four, equals my exponent, which is one half. Very good, people. Give yourself a high five. Now I'm just gonna show you one more thing, see if this makes any sense. My log always looks like this. My base goes here, my answer goes up here, and it's always gonna equal my exponent. So base, exponent, answer. Kinda of like in a little circle, counterclockwise. Okay, let's move on to lesson number two. Okay, Yixers. The second part of our lesson is evaluating a log. I'm gonna give you a log and you have to tell me what it equals. Hopefully without a calculator. We'll be dealing with a calculator a little bit later. So for right now, what is log base three of nine? So your first thought, if you're confused, is let's put this in exponential form. So my base is gonna be three. My answer, or my exponent, I should say, we do not know what it is. And my answer is going to be 9. So in other words, 3 to what power equals 9? I think most of you know you can do that in your head. It's going to be 3 squared. So the answer to this problem is simply 2. Log base 3 of 9 equals 2. And we just evaluated that log. Let me give you another one. What if I have log uh, base 5? of 125. What do you think that equals? Ray Ray, what do you think? Way to go, Ray. Let's put this in exponential form to make sure we have it. So we have five raised to what power equals my answer, which is 125. Can we do that in our head? 5 to what power equals 125? I believe my answer is 3. So to evaluate that function, it is going to be 3. What do you think? Can we do it? Give me a Y. Give me an E. Give me an F. Yeah! Okay, let's up our game a little bit. Log base 49 of 7 equals what? Let's evaluate that logarithm. Well, again, first thing I would do is put this in exponential form. My base is 49. My exponent is unknown. And my answer is 7. So because we're decreasing this time, I imagine we're going to need a fraction. 49 to what power equals 7? Well, I don't know that, but I think I do know what is the square root of 49, and that equals 7. I can rewrite that as 49 to the 1 half power equals 7. So my exponent looks like it's going to be 1 half. So log base 49 of 7 is 1 half. Do one more quick and we're done, people. Let's go log base 8 
equals 2. Think about that for a second. 8 to what power equals 2? Hmm. We don't know what the square root of 8 is, but do we know what the cube root of 8 is? I believe it's 2. So that is going to be 1 third. Log base 8 of 2 equals 1 third. So congratulations, Algebra 2 Yixters. We just finished our first module, Section 1, Module 15. Do the best you can. The assignment's in uh, school loop. I mean, assignment is in Google Classroom, which sends you to Khan Academy. They have a video explaining what we just talked about, a little, a little lecture, and then some problems. And the best part is you can check your answers every time you go through it. So I uh, hope you guys can do it. I know you can. Show some grit. Keep a positive mindset. Keep that growth mindset. Stay healthy this week. If you have questions, problems, complaints, meet me in Google Classroom and Google Meet Tuesday and Thursday at 12. Ask a friend. Thanks for joining me today. Make it a great week. Yes, you can. All right. You still with me? Yes. Are you sure? Yes, 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 yes. Good deal. Hey, I want to thank you for tuning in today. I hope you understood the lesson. And if not, uh, feel free to come in to my office hours, Tuesday and Thursday at 12, or email me anytime. I'll get back to you, and we'll go from there. Now, we will leave every newscast with a number five question. The first person to get back to me with the correct answer will win a roll of toilet paper. So here's the question today, people, this week. A clock loses 10 minutes each hour. If the clock is set correctly at 12 noon, what is the correct time when the clock reads 3 p.m.? Good luck. And make it a yes, I can week.